Hi. Hi. I'm Risa. Hi. 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 <laughs> Talking to a camera is not natural at all. I mean at all. So it's no wonder so many entrepreneurs avoid it like men avoid going to the doctor or asking for directions or putting their socks in the hamper. And I used to avoid it too, because before I became an entrepreneur, I was a documentary filmmaker and I was way, and I mean way more comfortable behind the camera than in front of it. But my documentary filmmaking days are long gone and being confident on camera has helped me grow and scale my online business. So I'm Marie Smurgatroyd, hi, and I've taught thousands of people how to fulfill their dream of launching a business while generating millions of dollars in sales for my own business. And I'm out in front of the camera a lot, teaching and leading group coaching calls, and I wouldn't be able to help my students so deeply if I wasn't confident on camera. But when I first started out, I was so uncomfortable and so awkward, and it definitely showed. I remember my very first video shoot. I actually asked the cameraman for my documentary film career to come and film me. And I remember I had this orange Mac Studio dress on and I didn't know how to do makeup. I didn't know how to do hair. I didn't know what to do with my hands. And he's like, all right, just put your hands around your belly length and you know, lace them together like that and put the thumbs together like that. And that'll just be a stable position for you. So I sat there and I talked like this because I really didn't understand and I didn't understand that my content and my performance were two different things. I just thought I had to get the words out, but I didn't realize it's not just about the words. In fact, more important than getting the words in the right way. I mean, you can stumble all you want, but if you stumble in a fun, interesting, present way, then it's fascinating. And I kept at it after that first not so auspicious start. And I got better and I got better and I got better. And now I'm so comfortable on camera that I just refilmed my entire signature online course, the Experience Product Master Class. And this time, instead of doing it with slides, I did it direct to camera. That was 2,445 minutes, which adds up to over 40 hours of finished video and at least 15 days in front of the camera. So I thought I'd share some tips and tricks that I've learned over the years, especially during that last binge filming. So you too can own being in front of the camera like a boss. So tip number one is to practice by talking to your camera as if it were a friend. And you can do this in a few different ways. Try doing something that takes steps like say cooking or whatever it happens to be and film yourself going through each steps. Now you can even just tell a story about something you saw that day or a funny story or just crack a joke. Just feel like you're teaching someone that you know and love how to do something and then just tell stories along the way. So that's tip number one. And tip number two is to film yourself every day for the first 30 days. Because when it comes to video, practice definitely does make perfect. So try hopping on camera, even for just 60 seconds a day for 30 days, and then go back when you're done and track your progression. Because I promise you that you're gonna notice a big difference between day number one and day number 30. So tip number three, set up a spot in your house that's gonna make it easy for you to just show up and film. I got this kind of funny little spot here in the basement of my house, guest rooms right here, my office is right there, and I just got the gear set up. So whenever the spirit moves me and I decide I want to film, I've got a spot. And choose a place where it's quiet, it's private, you feel comfortable, and make it easy for yourself to film anytime you want versus feeling like it's a big production. You got to set everything up, then take everything down, then set everything up, then take everything down. All right. Moving on to tip number four, look the part. Because confidence is key and one thing that's gonna help your confidence is just looking and feeling like yourself. Whether that's dressed up or dressed down, whatever works for you, just so you feel good in your body. So get out of your PJs, unless that's your, your jam, and find an outfit that makes you feel good. So that feeling good really comes across to everyone else. Moving on, to tip number five, which is to focus on the value of your message. Because here's the thing, 
When you believe 100% in what you do and what you're saying, the words coming out of your mouth, your confidence is just gonna shine through on camera. And that's gonna allow you to attract the perfect people, the people who resonate not just with what you're saying, but with how you're being. So rather than focusing on how you're feeling and what people are gonna think of you, focus on communicating, on providing value, shift away from you and your own inner crazy towards who you're talking to and just have that conversation. Now, if you haven't started your business yet or you're finding that your business doesn't really light you up, I do have a free masterclass called Discover the Business You're Truly Meant to Build and How to Share It with the World. So if you give me just 60 minutes of your time, you're gonna leave with the seven things that you got to identify to build your most profitable and your most fulfilling dream business. So you can save your seat for free at startwithyou.com forward slash masterclass. Now moving on to tip number six, and that is good audio. So getting the sound quality right is the most important aspect of your video because if people can't hear you or they have to strain to really understand what you're saying or you've just got majorly distracting background noise happening, they're gonna go ahead and tune you out and turn you off. So I recommend making a small investment in a pro microphone that will become an essential part of your home setup. And you can get a decent mic for just 30 bucks or you can go upscale and invest $300, even $3,000, however much you wanna spend, but just spend something. Moving on to tip number seven, which is avoiding flailing hand syndrome. Because when you're first filming videos, especially if you're standing like I am right now, you're not gonna know what to do with your hands. And you can end up distracting your audience with your crazy hand and arm movements. So when you're getting started, you might want to keep it simple and do that whole lace your fingers together and put your thumbs together. It's just it's going to give you the center of calm and groundedness and presence. And then when you get a little better, you can try to enhance from time to time. And then eventually you're going to feel like your hands and your body are in sync with what you're saying. So let's move on to tip number eight which is create a rough outline for your videos before you get started. Now this is especially key if you're filming YouTube videos where you wanna get in the flow because when you've got your key bullet points just listed down for what you wanna cover, your best stuff is gonna come out because you've got structure, you're not floundering around trying to find the point. You know what you're gonna cover, one, two, three, boom. All right, so tip number nine, do what I call a safety take. So after you've already got what you needed to film in the can, do a safety take. So what this does is it allows you to play around and just do something different, spontaneous, wild, be unpredictable, take your performance to the next level. And often this ends up being your very best take because you already have it down and now you get to just experiment and play. Which leads me to tip numero 10. And the number one tip I got for you is to just be yourself squared. So what do I mean by that? Well, it's often said that the camera doubles your weight and halves your energy. So you wanna be yourself while adding a little bit more energy than you may normally communicate with. In other words, practice turning up the dial on your self-expression just like you would turn up the dial or the volume on the radio. But most importantly, Stop overthinking every little aspect of your videos or how you're being or how your hair looks and just do it because messing up is a good thing because now people want authenticity and when you mess up, you just show that you're human. So stumble and start again. You don't have to start from the beginning and get every word perfect because nobody wants perfect. You know, it's annoying. You wanna kind of bitch slap that perfect person, right? You want the person who messes up and just keeps on going. So try out these tips and try out these tricks and just do it over and over and over again. All right, so if you want more videos about video itself and how to be good on video, check out how to naturally read a video script without a bunch of retakes and what's in my tech go bag, the art of working from the road. So I'm gonna show you how I bring my video and my computer setup everywhere I go so I can do these whenever I want to. Don't forget, the world is waiting for you to live your message. Go ahead, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.